Welcome the viewers. You are welcome to Easy Learning Tutorial Class. And this is what I have for you today. That said, if sine A equals to 3 over 5, and sine B equals to 5 over 13, where A and B are acute angles, find what without using table. Find without using table the value of sine A plus B. This means we should not use what calculator or mathematical table, which we are using driving um, uh, a what called four figure table. So any of them is not needed in this question. So you should what solve with them. That's what this question is all about. So now to solution. We we'll look at this. For us to have sine A equals to this, and have sine B equals to this, it means that these two bodies are found in a different right angle triangle. That this and this is found in a what different right angle triangle. I will not divide this into two lines. I will say sine what A. They said is what 3 over 5. That means for me to get sine A 3 over 5, I have this. Look at the triangle when this where this A is, is found. This is sine what A. Sine means opposite, which is 3 over hypotenuse, right? For me to say sine A mean opposite over hypotenuse. Give me what? Sine what A. Then I might call this place X. I need a name. And I will use Pythagorean theory. Using Pythagorean theory, since I have called this place X, using Pythagorean theory, I can now say that 5, which is hypotenuse square, is a what? Adjacent square plus opposite what? Square. And this will give me that what? That give me 25 equals to what? X square plus what? Mean. Then taking this over there, I can now say that what 25 minus 9 equals to x what square. That means x square is equal to 25 minus 9 will give me what 16. Therefore, x is equal to square root of what 16. And that gives me 4 plus or minus what 4. That means my x is what 4. I have that here. Then I move here. Here now they say sine b. Sign B equals to what? 5 over what? 13. Mean that is found in another right angle triangle, which is this. I cannot call this what? B. And this for sign mean opposite over hypotenuse. And I can call here Y. By Pythagorean theorem, I can say that 3, 13 squared is equal to 5 squared plus Y squared. Then this will give me 169 equals to 25 plus y squared. And this give me 169 minus 25 is equals to y squared. And this give me 169 minus 25 will give me 144 equals to y squared. I cannot say that y is equals to square root of what? 144 and that give me what? 12. I've got in my this side, I've got in this side. Then, what this I should find? Therefore, I can now say that sine, sine A plus what B is equal to, look at that here, we give me is equal to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. You get it right? Then I can now go to substitute. I go into this right triangle. I will get my sine A. Look at my sine A. Watch here. Sine A is 3 over 5. I put it over here. 3 over 5. That's for sine A. Watch sine A here. That's for this. Cos B. I go into this triangle. Watch here. Come over here. I go into this triangle. That's triangle B. That's B. Triangle for B. Cos mean adjacent over hypotenuse is what cost. That means 12 over 13. Times 12 over 13. Plus, look at the plus. Cost A. I'm looking for cost A. I go to triangle A. Look at the right angle triangle A. And I watch cost. 
adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 4 over 5. I will now say that what? 4 over what? 5 times sine B. I go there, look at my sine B, which is 5 over 13. I will have what? 5 over 13. Then I will start to expand them. Huh? I will have 3 times 12 give me 36. And the 5 times this will give me 65. Plus, 4 times 5 will give me 20. And the 5 times 13 will give me what? 65. I will now say the LCM is what? 65. This 65 by 65, 1, 1 times 36 is 36 plus, uh, this plus. 65 divided is 1, 1 times 20 will give me what, 20. And this will be equals to uh, 56 over 65. And that is the answer for this uh, question that says sine A plus what B. Then note this. And I say note this. Notes for subsequent question that what sine a minus what b is same thing as sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. Again, note it again that what cos a plus b is same thing as cos a cos b minus sin a a sin a b also note it again that cos a minus b is same thing as cos a cos a cos b plus sin a a sin a B. Again, you have to note it again that uh, this sign cos A minus B, when they are of the same, when they are well, looking at this cos A plus cos A, that means that A and B is the same. That gives me what? Cos 2A, and that will give me equals to, looking at this, will give me cos A. A cos a, again a, a minus sine a, a sine again a and that will land me to what cos squared a minus sine squared a. Are you gonna say that? That means this is something as this and is something as what this. Hello. I think you're following what I'm doing. This is the same thing as this, and the same thing as what? This. Also, I can now remember my proof identity by saying but, but that cos square a uh, minus uh, cos square a minus uh, cos square b can be, okay? Let's just find out that. This can be what also stated in the word sign a plus b. If there is a space here, uh, that should be next class. We are going to see, let me put it over here. If I have a sine a, sine a plus a, which is the same sign, when the sign is the same, what do you mean? It will give me what? Um, sine a, cos a, a plus a, plus a, cos a, um, a, sine a, and this will give me equals to 2 sine a, cos a, a, so this is something as this. I think we are moving out right, when the sine are the same. What does this mean? What does it mean in actual? It means that if I have sine 60, sine 60, I can write this as what? Sine of 30 plus 30. Are you getting what I'm saying? You get what I'm talking about. If I have sine 15, I can write it as what? Sine uh, 45 minus uh, 30. Have you seen it now? And that gives me that this man become what? A. This become what? A. That means equal sine. 
and this man become what a this one become b are you following what i mean that what i have sine here 30 plus 30 this man is what a this is also a if i have sine here 45 minus 30 this become what a this become what b you follow so that's what we mean by this we are stating here and this will be clear in the next question now when we are given this in the next question this kind of question will be able to what you know illustrate it in a full way so but this i just give you a clue about this here so this is what they ask us for this question and this is the answer and what we need to note you have noted this and also noted this which i've explained to you thank you for what subscribing into this channel thank you for loving this channel thank you for commenting and sharing this channel to your friends uh, remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed remember to share to your friend here if you have not shared to your friend remember to what comment if you have not commented over this word the class comment because your comment will help us to set up some certain things that we are not doing well if the area we are not doing well in the fast or short or whatever your comment makes us to what sit well in this world class thank you and see you in the next